This is a 2023 Winnebago 24V. First, we're going to turn the outside of the vehicle, and then we're going to go inside the vehicle, and then I'll give you my pet peeve, Sherry's favorite feature, and a build quality rating. Let's go! This is built on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. This has a 3.6 liter diesel engine, which puts out 188 horsepower. Now, as we move along, we check out these rather large mirrors. There's no side view cameras on this one. We do have this nice aircraft style door, though. This is one thing I do like about Winnebago. Look at this door. All right, let's move on back. Now we have here, check out that storage. That's not bad for a Class C. It is excellent. And I don't know how you feel, but I like that these open up, you know, in an upward direction. You're 3,200. I think you missed the propane disconnect, John. Oh, I did not. It's right there. <laughs> and finally on this side, check that out. Oh, this is pretty cool, John. Isn't it? And it has a light in there as well. And you can access it from the rear. Yes, you can. It has a full ladder, and it does have a rear view camera. And check out the awning up there. It runs almost the full length of the vehicle. Now that's pretty cool, John. That is really nice. That is a big awning. Now, I'm not sure if we can see the other side. Do you want to try it? Let's go see if we can. Right. Oh yeah, we might be able to check out a couple of things here. Watch yourself, a little slide out. What do we have here? Look at that, your wet bay and your electrical. It's so tiny. It is very tiny, it's very compact. They put a lot of compact space and then right on the other side is your... That's your electrical bay. It has your cable TV in there as well. I'm guessing this is a 30 amp. Yes. How did you know? And it looks like it has a Truma uh, AquaGo. Oh yes, this is a Truma AquaGo system, yes. Look at that. That one, I don't know how this one opens. Does it open? That doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't, does it? Who knows? Hey, look, John, you've got a black tank flush here. Oh wow, that's different. Those I like that. always great for keeping your tanks clean. I like and using smell it. Free. it. It works great. Yeah, smell free, stink yeah. free. We get free smells anyway. <laughs> Let's see what's here. Oh, there's your uh, gray tank. Now that is a 31 gallon gray tank. Ooh. Black tank's also 31 gallons. Real Bagel likes to match their tanks. They do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe the fresh water is 40. And you have 50.76 gallons of propane. Look at that. Ah, the Mercedes Sprinter. Oh, look at this. It's my, one of my favorite features. Oh, so you can't get to, the, John, this is diesel. Yeah, I said that. It's a three liter, 188 horsepower Mercedes turbo diesel. How did I miss that? You don't listen to me. That's true. Okay. <laughs> so I like the fact that this is behind the door. So no one can get to the tank unless they've already opened the door. Yeah, they'd have to actually break into your entire vehicle to get to the fuel. But you know, John, there's a negative to that. What? Well, they'd have to break into the entire vehicle. No, the thing is, so here's, here's my question. And that is, if I am fueling, do I have to keep my door open? No. Nice. Okay. I like that then. <laughs> Sherry approved. I'm glad you approved. Yes. All okay, right. I like this step here. Yeah, that is nice. And it has these tie downs on the ends. Look at that. What size tires, John? These look like they're 16s. Yeah, I think they are. They are 16s. And now let's go check out the inside. You first. I still like this door. I don't know what this is for though. But look, this is what I wish more RVs had. Oh, I, I that is that. great. So I don't, you don't like have that. smacking my way through 
a shade that's hanging down. But John, I like watching you smack your way oh, through that shade you know. that's hanging down. God. It's so much fun to watch. No. I should do a YouTube short about it. No. Okay, we're inside. Why don't you go sit in the driver's seat? This is nice though. I like that they have all the hands-free controls that a car does. You know, for your phone, your, your uh, cruise control, everything's right here. And they have this Mercedes system here with your navigation right there. That's a nice size screen, John. That's it is a big. nice size screen. It's very large. Also, you have your, this is a very simple system. Look at this, temperature and fan and then just a few simple controls. Your hazard lights right there. <laughs> Small and large cup holders. <laughs> and up here, there seem to be cup holders on both sides, up on the deck. I don't That's know why. That's an interesting spot for cup holders. Are I, they really cup holders, Sean? I don't know, but they seem like they are. I would use it. <laughs> I'm sure you I mean, you, you know, would. you can never have enough, four on each side. I love that the seats have three memory settings. Look at that. Both sides. You oh, see this? so you can have three different settings for different people. Right. That's pretty cool. Those are, that's a pretty nice thing. Is it comfortable, John? It is. This is a very soft leather seat with uh, supports here. And it does have a bit of support on the side like most sports cars do. Right. Now, the one thing I am looking for that I do not see are power ports. I'm looking for power port. Oh, it's a Mercedes. Right there. I think it's just three USBs and a 12 volt. Yeah, there's a 12 volt right there. Hey, come on, John. All right, Let's out look up we go. Top. Looks like you have a nice sleeping area up above. Yes, look and at that. there are two windows. Yeah, and it looks like it has a small window that opens too that you can get some fresh air. Yeah, there's a screen here. So you can open this small window on each side, get some cross ventilation. You have Max a fan up above. Yep, you have a reading lamp up there as well. And privacy curtains on each side. So you can close that up and just be uh, in your own little world. All right, now I'm gonna turn around now. By the front door, where we come in, this is where your leveler is. As you come in further, we have this nice little love seat here. Why don't you sit on it, John? It looks like it's a recliner. It does look like, I believe it is, look at that. You haven't sat down all day. Oh, this is nice. Put the recliner up, is it That is soft. Ah. <sighs> It's not bad. I wish it had a higher thing up here, though. It's like you want to put your head back, but it's, it doesn't go up very high. But it's comfortable. It's soft. It makes a good couch. And it looks like you can put a dinette here, oh, or a yeah. table either here or over there, so those seats probably swivel. I'm pretty sure they probably do swivel. Usually they do. In this model, I believe they do. And then... Um, so this, of course, has some storage right above. Look at that. Nice. You know what I like about it? I love this lighting back there. They do very nice accent lighting. I love that. Mm -hmm. You like the artwork? <laughs> they gave us artwork. A bear, your favorite. Yes, I've been having <laughs> lots of dreams about bears. <laughs> All right. Now, last time I had trouble with this, but this opens. I don't think it does. Oh, it does. Yeah. Ooh. And it has the paper towel roll behind there. And a few little cubbies that you can use. And it uh, looks like your, is that a Blu-ray? Yeah, it looks like a Sony Blu-ray player. Okay. Although I'm not sure how many of you out there have Blu-ray still. Let's change spots. Oh yeah, you go over here. Now, let's look at the kitchen. Let me move this over. Wow, that's a pretty deep sink. Two sides. And of course, we have that. This is nice. Now, if I know Winnebago, underneath here is going to be big enough for your, like, Crock every, pot, everything. Pot, anything you need. I can see anything in there. And that's a good location, too. Look, there's a water filter there as well, John. See, your water filter is easy to get to. That's I very could change simple. it. Yes, you can. And the cold, and not care. <laughs> and not care. And now we move over here. This one is different. I noticed Winnebago likes in the little ones to give you an induction cooktop and a small burner, a propane burner. That's kind of nice, I think. So you have I, I agree with you, John, because sometimes, you know, you just want to cook over a flame. You do. It, it makes a difference. It's different. It does. It does. I like that. How and about these drawers down here, John? Oh, these are big. Look at this. And they're lit. I love that they're backlit. 
Man, they come out all the way, too. This is nice. Oh, look, they they're soft, soft clothes. They look like they are. They feel like it. Look. Yes. They are soft clothes. All lit. And then we have more ambient lighting on the floor here. And then we go up here, and what do we have? Now, I can't tell if that's convection. It's convection. Ah, good. It's a good thing you have me around, John. I know. You need me, don't you? I'm not going to say anything. No, you're right. <laughs> I'm just being crazy. Now, you may have to come around this way for this, but, oh, first let me do this. Next, we have a refrigerator and your freezer. Do you know what kind of fridge this is, John? No, but it's small and it looks like it might be your typical, uh, like it's a, a Nor volt comp it, compressor. Yeah, it's a Norcold, so I think it might oh, be okay. a compressor fridge. And we have a little area for all of your gauges. This is your generator control, your tank heater, your slide controller, and this is what? For the water pump and your tank levels and your battery levels. This is for your solar controller. And I still don't know what the Xantrex is. The battery? Xantrex Freedom. It has something to do with the batteries, but I'm not sure what. I need to really look that up. Now, Next to the f kitchen is the bath. Now, Sherry, you may have to trade places here. I think that I'll have to show them the bathroom. Yes, because it's a little... It's a tight space. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. There you go. So here's the bath. We'll start with the shower. John, you'll have to let me know what you think about that pole they have over the top. Oh, I see it. It comes out. I, oh, you mean that bar? The where bar. The, yeah, the bar. For hanging stuff? Yeah, you have to let me know what you think about that. What do you think about that? All right. Oh, there's a towel holder here. There's what do you one. think about that bar, John? Well, let me see. I'll go in and check out the shower like I do. Let's open up this cabinet so that folks can see what's there while you're checking out that bar. I like that faucet. It's pretty nice. It is pretty. Okay, John. Well, what do you think about the bar? You wouldn't have this in while you're showering, I'll say that, because I, if I stand up, it's in the way. So it comes out, but I guess this is for hanging things in here? Well, you know, John, I was just thinking about this bar, right? Because on our way to the show, <laughs> I got caught in a torrential downpour. Two hours later, when I arrived and met up with you, coming closer, <laughs> we like each other. What? Um, <laughs> when I got to the rig, do you remember my jacket? You were soaked. After two hours, my jacket was still soaked. And we had to find a place to hang it up. Right. And we kind of made a makeshift thing in the shower. We hung it up on the... Yep, on the shower head. On, exactly. But if we had one of these... We could have Let's say up. we went swimming. We went to the beach. We went, you know, yeah. things got wet. We got caught in a torrential downpour. We could just hang our stuff on here to dry. Yeah. So I actually like that, John. Hey, put down in the comments below what you think about having a, a bar go across there. All right, there we go. And I noticed the shower is supposed to be up here, but it can't reach because they've secured it. So that's supposed to be here. And then let's look at the, the shower door. What is that like? We've got to hold and press it in. So how do you let yourself out? Let me see. I'm going to close it. All right, your shower's done, John. Ooh. Ooh, that was sudden. What did you do? Uh, how'd you open it, John? I just grabbed it and pulled, but Ooh. I didn't hold on to it. What did you grab? Is there anything to oh, grab Oh, there's on? a little ledge. Oh, there. there's a little ledge there? Yeah. Okay. Scared me, John. Don't break anything. We just did a video about how <laughs> much abuse these show units take, and this is an example. It's, um... It's kind of small. Even I mean, look at me. I'm short, and it's just not. Yeah, but you know, it's a small. It's a small. Oh, that's rig. right. Oh, and let me check this a minute. I know this is a matte thing, but it looked high to me. But no, it's fine. Your feet touch the ground, okay? Yeah. Alrighty. Just checking. It looked like it was sitting up too high. You know. All right. Well, out we go. Let's close this up. And yep. go to the bedroom. All right. Do we have a light for back here? Yes, it should be on the left side. I think. The the cushion. cushion. Okay. Let me get a little look around so everybody can see all the windows here. And these windows open up. So that's an emergency exit. And then this one opens up as well. And then you have your TV here on one side. And I'm guessing this swivels out, John. Uh, no, it seems stiff. 
Yeah, that's mounted like that. Oh. That okay. is where it is. All right. And then you have a little wardrobe here. Oh, the shelves come out so you can use it to hang clothes. Yep. And then another one just like it on the other side. John, I'm going to let you through so that you can test out the bed. All right. Excuse me. Hey. Uh, what Excuse the... me. <laughs> Don't run from me, John. I thought you loved me. <laughs> All right. Bedtime. Now, these are a bit firm. I mean, they're not uncomfortable, but they're a little firm. And you see we have these extra cushions here. These go in the middle. This is a nice little table. I guess during the day, you can have it as a table. Oh, we have two large drawers down here. And then we have one here. And I'm sure there might be a use case where you might want to have two separate beds. And when you want to make it one big bed, you just pull this out. And then you can take these cushions and stack them in the middle. One cushion goes up there and one cushion goes here. Nice. And then you can have a full size bed. See if it's nice and snug in there? Yep. So. And then when you don't want it, you can just put it away. So John, that's the whole RV tour. Now it's time for your pet peeve, my favorite feature, and a build quality rating. The only thing I wish they would do is improve the recliners. I really think that it could use a little more height so that it would support my head when I'm in the recline position, because right now it doesn't. And if you're saying that, how tall are you? I'm 5'6". And so someone who's 5'7 or oh, higher... Oh, it'd be ridiculous. They, their head be wouldn't be there. Yeah, there's nothing there to support your head whatsoever. That's true. Okay, now it's time for my favorite feature. My favorite feature has to be the fact that it has both the induction cooktop and the propane burner. I love the having the option to do it either way. Because now we have to do our build quality rating. Right. And I think this is going to be pretty easy. It is. We have seen... I, I haven't really seen anything that would give me any cause to worry about the construction of this. I haven't seen anything, John. I mean, the drawers work fine. I'm not seeing any frayed wood, um, no. any bad paint, any um, poorly um, pieces installed poorly. This, this is just a very well put together unit. It is, it is very, very well done. So I think for the 2022 Hershey RV show, this is our first 10 out of 10. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. It, yes, I think it is. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to catch some other Hershey RV shows. It'll be here or there. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.